Good morning, my name is Claire and I'm on my way back from Everest Base Camp. So my other videos about Everest Base Camp should already be live. This video is all about going down from Everest Base Camp. We did come down quite a bit yesterday already. We're at just under 4,000 meters altitude now, but I thought I'd video the rest of the journey down. So the plan for today is to hike from Peng Bolche, which is where we are now, to Namche Bazaar, which is the largest settlement in the region. We're then spending a night in Namche and then hiking to Lukla tomorrow where we will get a plane back to Ramachap and then a bus back to Kathmandu. So it's about just before eight in the morning, just had breakfast and we're just getting our stuff ready to begin the hike today. It should be about seven hours or so of hiking today, mainly downhill, although we do have quite a lot of uphill as well as the trail it doesn't just go like this and then this, it goes like this a lot, but we're descending and we're gaining less altitude so we should start feeling a lot more oxygen and a lot more energy as we go along. I'm gonna go grab my bags and then let's go. So we've made it back to Teng Bush Monastery. This is where we were a few days ago when I was not feeling so well. So we pretty much went straight past here to the tea house. We stayed just sort of down the hill here and um, didn't actually go into the monastery but we're gonna do that now. I think it's 350 rupees to go in. It's so beautiful here. We were saying the trail kind of, it's almost like two trails. You have the real like mountainous Himalayan part and then you have kind of a lowland nature trail. And I think these are our last glimpses of the Himalayas. We have made it back to Namche Bazaar. So this is our penultimate night, but our last day of hiking is tomorrow. So today was good. <laughs> good. There was more uphill than you would have thought, given that it was mainly, you know, given that we're descending, but obviously it follows the mountain. So it goes up sometimes, it goes down sometimes. So I'm feeling pretty tired, but there's more oxygen here. We're back at 3,400 meters and I have finally had a shower, which I'm so happy about. I've washed my hair and I do feel like a new woman. <laughs> Everyone else is down at the Irish bar, which is the world's highest Irish bar. So I'm just gonna go meet them now and maybe even have a glass of wine. As we're descending now, can have a drink or two. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't film that much of the way down at all because we were just going as fast as we possibly could and honestly yesterday was gruelling yesterday was a lot of uphill which you don't normally get on a last day of a hike <coughs> it's been a bit difficult getting back here but we are here now and um, arrived here last night and we stayed at the nest at Lukla last night and hopefully very soon we will be getting on a plane and heading back to Ramchat the airport is just behind me and planes have been taken off all morning. We were supposed to be on a 7.30 a.m. plane. It's now about 7.45. Yeah, we're still at the tea house, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but hopefully it won't be too long before we head over to the airport and get on our plane. And hopefully we will make it on it before any changes in the weather happen, because it's, it's all right at the moment. A bit of light wind, but it should still be fine for planes to take off, but it can change at any moment here. <laughs>
So, I'm not quite sure when I last filmed, but I thought it was about time that I wrapped this video up. So, <laughs> we had a small change of plans. Um, we came back to Kathmandu, we were going to spend a couple of days in Kathmandu and then head to Chitwan, which is a place where they have safaris, you can maybe see tigers there. It sounded very, very nice. However, on the morning that we were meant to go, we were being picked up at 6.30, I woke up with a rash covering my entire body. Honestly, initially it was like, we could probably still go, but probably need to go to the pharmacy and get some cream because it's quite itchy. So I felt fine otherwise, but I basically, one thing led to another. The pharmacy wasn't open, so I ended up at the hospital. The hospital told me that I had an allergic reaction to something and had to go on an IV. <laughs> so obviously we did not go to Chitwan, we're still in Kathmandu. We have been staying at a lovely hotel called the Hotel Barahi for the last few nights and honestly this hotel was exceptional, I absolutely loved our stay there. Unfortunately it was booked out last night so now we're staying at the Hotel Manang which is right in the middle of Tamil. Not a big fan of this hotel, not going to lie. I'll show it around probably in my next video but um, yeah, we're not looked a lot nicer in the pictures than it is in real life. I was in hospital for like only a few hours. I had an IV and then I've been let go with some like steroid tablets and some antihistamines. And generally I think the hives are going down. They were really, really bad. They seem to flare up a little bit in the mornings, but apparently that's normal. So hopefully they'll go completely soon. And we've got another two nights in Kathmandu before we fly to Bahrain actually and then back home to the UK. So I'm probably going to stop the video now and I'm going to do another video which is just going to be these couple of days in Kathmandu because I'm going to actually try and get out and do some sightseeing today. <coughs> the Everest trek was really really good but it all this could happen on this trek. <laughs> it's quite a lot to put your body through and um, I'm not sure exactly what caused these hives but it could have been excessive exercise, wearing non breathable clothes, going from hot to cold very quickly, or it could have been an allergic reaction. We're not too sure at the moment. I might do a bit of investigating when I get back to the UK, but we shall see. So yeah, I think I'll round this video off here. I'm probably gonna do another whole like guide, like sit down Q&A style kind of guide to Everest Base Camp when I'm back in the UK. But this has sort of been a very itty bitty vlog of us just getting down from Everest Base Camp and back to Kathmandu. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Sorry if it's been a bit all over the place. And do stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be all about the best things to do in Kathmandu. And hope I will see you there. Bye!